Today officially kicks off Purdue University's homecoming weekend, so that weekend is looking a little bit different than what it did just last year. News 18's Perry Apostolakos is live in the studio this morning with the details on that. So people, Perry here, a lot of people are really looking forward to this weekend. What do they need to know if they want to get involved? Well, Marley, the university is having in-person events again this year. I was on campus Thursday and some students had a lot to say about coming back to campus after remote learning and celebrating their own homecoming. It's a lot of fun to come to Purdue and see these huge football games. And it's just like, oh my God, I used to be in this tiny little stadium with like a bunch of high schoolers and now I'm like, I'm in college. This is college. Like this is Purdue. And it's it's incredible. I go to every single game. <laughs> to take advantage of being here now, because I kind of like took that for granted freshman year, and then getting sent home, and then the online my sophomore year was more like not very fun. I'm definitely trying to get in as much as I can of the experience since I lost a year of COVID, because of COVID. So just trying to get out and enjoy and see what everything's about. I'm not a big like, extrovert or like party person, so I don't think I'm going to celebrate it. I prefer like to stay at home and watch Netflix or something. It sucks to wear masks inside, but it's so nice to see people after such a long time. Yeah, it feels nice. Like It feels like campus is like finally back, aside from wearing masks when we're inside buildings, but that's a small price I'm willing to pay in order to like have in-person classes and be able to go to the games and everything. The Purdue Homecoming Parade is returning to campus later today at 8 p.m. on State Street. For a full calendar of events, head over to WLFI.com. Reporting in studio this morning, I'm Perry Apostolakos, News 18.